Hey everyone, welcome back to Miniature Painting 101, a series of videos where I teach you all about painting miniatures from start to finish, and everything in between, including freehand. Like today, we're going to be covering hazard lines, how to paint hazard lines, specifically on a bent surface, as requested by you, a subscriber wanted me to paint uh, hazard lines on a bent surface such as a shoulder pad, so I figured no better choice than here's a Chaos Space Marine who might have you know, hazard lines on his shoulder pad, and today we will paint them on using a combination of yellows and, of course, black and dark grays. So we'll start off with Averlen Sunset. So the key when painting freehand, number one, thin down your paints. You don't want thick paints when doing freehand because that shows brush strokes. There's a really nice fine line of, of thinness that you have to have when painting your uh, doing freehand details and once you find that you're sweet so you don't want it too thin because then it'll just run everywhere and you don't want it too thick because then it'll show brush strokes. So now that I've th thinned it down I pick a point in the shoulder pad like that nice spike and I'll use that as my anchor point and I'll use that to start the line and I work in a nice straight fashion one brush stroke at a time going upwards and backwards until I get a nice straight line. It takes a little bit of practice to get these straight hazard lines or to do lines in general. And then once I have a nice solid line painted, I'm going to reload my brush because it will, it, using very thin amounts of paint on a nice detail brush, it, it dries out very quickly. I'm going to just go stroke by stroke and expand that line in either direction to make it thicker to the thickness that I want for my hazard lines, which is about this. And once again, I'm using the, that nice spike as an anchor point. If you have op if you have access to an anchor point for your freehand, I always recommend it. So now we have a nice straight hazard line. Um, for our shoulder pad and this is going to is this is going to be the foundation of our pattern so now what i'm going to do is just gap a little distance we're going to leave a little bit of a gap which will be black of course in the end and repeat this process trying to go in um in as basically parallel of a fashion as possible to the first line now if you end up screwing up don't worry the key is when doing hazard lines or any freehand pattern in general is start off with a lighter color and use the darker color to clean up any mistakes that you might have made in the first color that's why we'll be doing yellow first black second because the black easily will cover up any mistake and clean up those lines uh, for the yellow but obviously you want to do as nice of a job as possible so that way you need to clean up the least amount possible so now we got our thickness of our lines, trying to keep them consistent. We'll go in both directions and add supplementary lines to make our hazard line uh, pattern. And you can see here, just one stroke at a time, doing nice and try to keep it as thick, uh, sorry, as clean as possible. Now the, the, the problem when doing shoulder pads is the bending. So you got to try to keep it, the bending um, pattern with the shoulder pad and that takes a little bit of practice. You basically got to draw the line and keep your hands straight while going around the shoulder pad which you'll notice will create a bending pattern. Um, it, it just it creates a little bit of an illusion of an unstraight pattern because it does bend along and you have to continue that along. And that's okay, it just takes a little bit of practice to go along with it, but you keep your arm straight and just keep going along the bending and you can choose how strongly it bends accordingly as well. And now, now that I've got my lines done, I really like where they are. I'm going to take Eero Yellow and go down the center of them. Uh, repeating this process once again, but it's easier now that we've already got our blueprint with Eero Yellow. Just we're going to bring it to the center of the lines to make them the brightest. And that way we'll leave a little bit of the Averland Sunset towards the perimeter of the lines. As you can see, just nice, clean strokes, one at a time, taking my time getting nice clean lines of your yellow over the Averland Sunset and this will really bring out the yellows in the hazard lines. It's much easier to do these lines on straight things like vehicles, uh, shoulder pads that aren't bent, but uh, it's okay just because you continue along the bend towards whatever angle you really want and just make sure you keep it consistent between the lines of the bent pattern. So now that we got our yellows good, it's now time to fill in the gaps with Abaddon Black. But as I said, Abaddon Black will be used for two things. Number one, obviously to fill in the gaps of color, but to, two, to clean up the lines. So you gotta be extremely careful when painting these because anytime you slip up, you'll have to clean it up pretty drastically because you've removed a chunk of yellow. So take your time and use the black to clean it up and also to balance out the gaps. What tends to happen with these, free these freehand patterns is that you will over put in the yellow and that you'll fill too much area with yellow. And then to, to clean it up, you have to go and thin down the lines of yellow by progressing with the black in each direction. 
So you just use the black to clean up the areas, make sure you get nice crisp lines, and as well to balance the gap, the amount of, of yellow to black ratio on these lines. Because as you can see, I, I did it myself. These, if I just filled in the bands of silver with the black, the amount of yellow compared to the black would be very heavy. So I'm going to thick, uh, thicken up the lines slightly with the black, and that way it, it eats into a little bit of the yellow and creates a balanced uh, pattern with the yellow and the black. Just one line at a time. Once again, I did thin down this black paint. I thinned down all my paints, as I said. The key is to find that nice intermediate level between not too runny and not too thick. And now that that's done, we'll take our gray liner, and what we're gonna do is with the same thing, we're gonna go down the very center of each uh, black line with gray liner. And what this does is it creates a really nice older texture on them, and it creates a nice contrast, so that there's, there'll be grays, blacks, and now two shades of yellow. And this really does add a lot of, um, a, a bit of dimension to this pattern, and really makes it look pleasant. And there we go, that's it in a nutshell. And I'm just repeating this process. And now here's what our final product looks like. As you can see, I just, I went and cleaned up the, uh, the armor around it. I repainted the silver, that way it's nice and, and, and cut in. And that's it. Now we have a nice uh, hazard line pattern, free-handed on a bent surface. And as you can see, there's slight bends to it over there, which uh, near the end, bottom of the shoulder pad would just create a little bit of a bent appearance, but it does balance out quite nicely. And it's up to you how the, the level of bend you want. You can completely ignore the bend if you want or go with it. So as always, thank you so much for watching this episode of Miniature Painting 101. And stay tuned for next week's episode, part 93, which is just around the corner. But if you don't want to wait for next week, check out the warp. Click on the link below for a free 14-day trial to my premium YouTube channel. We're not going to get to see the next six months worth of Miniature Painting 101 episodes before anyone else. We get to see over 80 start-to-finish painting tutorials battle reports, face-off episodes, and Airbrush 101 series. Just some awesome board gaming content. Go ahead and check out The Warp. I think you'll love it. So thank you as always for watching. Until next time, this is Jay saying, happy painting, everyone.